So my name is Catherine Demetz. I come from Northwestern Canada, which is Northern BC, Alberta and the Yukon where I grew up. Hi, I'm Meem. Um, I am from Toronto. I'm Thomas. I uh, am originally from Elmira, which is a small town just north of Waterloo. Uh, so my name is Stefan. I'm uh, originally from Northern Ontario in Sault Ste. Marie. Hi, my name is Sam. Uh, I grew up in the Toronto area. So my name is Laura. I'm originally from Georgetown. My name is uh, Martin Korzanowski, uh, originally from uh, Mississauga area. There's an excellent balance between clinical and non-clinical medicine where one day I'll get to see patients in person and then the next day I'll be able to uh, work uh, very intellectually on developing a plan to help those patients. I also like the flexibility that this career gives people. So uh, there's a, a large amount of patient care, technology, education, research, and you can really craft um, uh, your career to what you're most interested in. For me, what really stood out for Queen's is just how strong of a collegial environment we have both uh, from the residents as well as the uh, support staff and, uh, and our attendings and our program director. Being a smaller cancer center allows for a lot more one-on-one -on -one personalized teaching um, where uh, the staff are able to kind of tailor uh, learning opportunities for each individual resident. And in clinic, we're the first one to see uh, any patients. Uh, and then if there is um, any interesting or unique patients, the staff will email us and um, ask us to come tell, uh, see that patient. Some academic programs can be very competitive. And although we expect our residents to excel, I think we do that in um, a supportive way. And over the years, um, you know, I've seen some brilliant minds uh, do some really wonderful things uh, because they get the opportunities uh, that they need and the support um, to make the most of their time uh, here in Queens. We have a good brachytherapy program for sort of the routine things like prostate and gynecologic malignancies, but we also have some more unique brachytherapy options in terms of lung brachytherapy, breast brachytherapy, esophageal brachytherapy, and even skin brachytherapy. And we have additional programs with our accelerated partial breast irradiation, which is probably the largest uh, volume center in uh, Ontario, if not Canada. Uh, also exposure to things like uh, lung and esophageal brachytherapy are uh, techniques that are not commonly seen at uh, other centers. The lack of crazy traffic uh, is, is great. I'm originally from Toronto, so I really appreciate that. And Kingston itself is a very beautiful city. I, I love the lake. I live by the lake. Uh, but it has really affordable housing uh, close to the university and hospital. So I actually really enjoy walking to work uh, every morning. My family and I love to travel to little towns and, and communities and, and explore uh, and, and Kingston really allows you uh, the opportunity to do that. I think there's a really good reason why uh, Kingston uh, usually tops lists of uh, best places to live in uh, Canada. For a smaller uh, city it's uh, definitely exceeded my expectations 